Hey, this is Mush Farmer, and welcome back to a new episode of this uh, new side series in Mushroom Adventures I'm going to call Upgrade Complete. I'm going to talk about some of the uh, new things that I'm doing to improve uh, my progress and my situation. I'm trying to get uh, higher yields, um, better quality, and because uh, I know you guys are going to get bored if I just keep showing stuff at the start because I know some of you already have a lot of this experience. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to uh, show you that I improved upon is my ventilation into my packing area down in the second basement. Now, uh, you see here, before I didn't have any of this uh, metal tape, which is really necessary. Um, it was just the box sitting on the floor with the uh, filter on top of the box. And I, I, I had the impression that the, uh, the suction would be enough to hold it tight, but uh, this is kind of a, this area of the house wasn't built too level and uh, it is linoleum so that's not so even either so it was sucking air um, in between the uh, the box um, and also uh, you can see inside here I uh, taped around the uh, vent coming up really well because uh, before I had that packed with uh, just some insulation but still it was pulling air through between the insulation so I really had to tape it tight uh, also Another thing, the, uh, this filter you see is actually wider than the box. Now you could always get, you know, try to match up a box and a filter at the same size. But if you can't, you just take a piece of tape, metal tape again, and uh, put it at the, at the margin of where the box would meet. And that way it still has a flat surface. Because otherwise it's still some air going across the, uh, or in between rather, um, between the filter and the box because you're not getting a really good tight seal but now I mean it's it really wants on there like a magnet so that's uh, that's the first problem that I'm going to show you that I've solved alright here's uh, upgrade complete number two we're going to go down into the first basement our grow area now, if you remember uh, videos I showed before, I just had a space heater hanging off back here. It was blowing out this uh, the fog from the pond fogger, real gentle, just pretty much keeping it one direction so I could kind of focus it one way. But uh, doing that really, I decided that it was just too much fog going to the floor and getting uh, pumped out. So, uh, you know how. Hold on, let me turn off this fan. This fan this is loud. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but you can see uh, where I had the space heater. I took that off, put a box fan on low, and now you can see it's really blowing the fog out. And uh, instead of just hugging the floor, now it comes up and around, drafts around to this, the back part again. Um, it seems to be working out pretty good this way. Not a lot of the fog comes back to the fan, so I'm, I'm hoping the fan doesn't uh, break down. You know, the motor is going to corrode with the moisture, but uh, I'll be the guinea pig, and I'll see how far it goes. I, I think it'll probably go pretty long. We can see a lot amount of fog, and in 12 hours, because I'll come down here and miss missed all these logs. In the morning and in the evening, about 12 hours in between, the uh, the water level will actually be pretty far down in this. Um, so far down, in fact, that you can see where I have this clip holding uh, the cord to the fogger, so the fogger stays in place on one side. The water level will go down that uh, it pulls up on one side of the fogger and uh, gets the uh, low water sensor up above the uh, surface of the water. Which is a good thing because um, you want to have a little bit of air time when the fogger shuts off and so your, uh, your fruiting mushrooms can dry out a little bit. Because if they stay wet all the time, they're really going to have no opportunity to uh, pick them and package them. Because you cannot package fresh mushrooms 
while they are nice and wet on the outside. They have to be somewhat dry if you expect them to last more than a week in your fridge. But uh, what we're going to do about this, other than the fan, is uh, I have this 5-jet fogger in this uh, float, but the float is actually from a 12-jet, so it's, it's larger, and the 5-jet fogger doesn't have enough weight to uh, keep it at the proper height. So what I've done previously is just take some baggies and fill them full of uh, what I thought were uh, stainless steel screws, but uh, unfortunately they are all still rusting into a mess. So what I'm going to do is take those bags out and put uh, these nice heavy, uh, I guess they're chunks of old countertop, but they're from the gravel in my yard, or driveway rather. I cleaned them up, so I'm going to put them around that and uh, make it kind of, you know, like a little decorative pond, you know. But uh, get the weight right, and then I don't have to worry about rust. And you know, another thing is I've, I've noticed that uh, I'm not getting any, uh, I'm not really getting any water mold around the inside, which you would expect being constantly wet. You, know, you get a, you get a slickness in your fingers. You could feel it definitely slick. You see, you can, you can, you can hear it squeaking. Um, maybe a problem in the summertime. I don't know. I haven't had the fogger running in this kind of setup. Um, I only started that in the fall. But uh, that's uh, what this uh, upgrade is all about. Alright, on to the next. Alright, here's the uh, next issue that we're going to deal with. You can see uh, these outlets down in this basement. They suck. They just fall right out, and you can see uh, this bottom one, it's broken. New outlets, they'll have a bit of a grip to it, you know. And the problem really is that uh, I want to put this timer on there, plug it in, and put it on 12 hours of day, 12 hours of darkness. But uh, the weight of the timer keeps pulling out the plug. So I'm going to have to replace that with a, uh, a new outlet if I want to uh, use this timer. Because I'm really tired of just coming down here every morning and evening and uh, plugging it and unplugging it. So that's about that. <laughs> Alright, on to the next upgrade. Alright, I want to show you um, about this problem I was having with the King Oysters. Um, it actually relates to uh, the first things we were talking about with the, uh, the filtration going down into the second basement where we pack these logs. Logs full of straw and rye grain spawn. As you can see right here, here's some of that mean green. It looks like some uh, probably aspergillus. It's a little bit lighter in color. If it was trichoderma, it would be a, a deep forest green. But both are equally invasive. And this is just the first flush off this log. And that mold shouldn't be there. And as you can see, it, although it looks like it has a decent amount of mushrooms on it, that's probably only about 60% of what it should be putting out for the amount of spawn it has in it. Now what it should look like now with these logs that I fixed the filtration with, just look at that. It's a, uh, a forest of mushrooms. Really, really every hole has a nice type group. And the beautiful thing about king oysters is that you really don't have to manicure any mushrooms off because the mushrooms it makes are the, uh, the amount of mushrooms that it can support. Blue oysters aren't like that. They will, uh, you will lose yields if you let too many pins form. You can see these, these two logs were made on the same batch. And they're both doing about equally the same. Now this log down here, it's uh, it's brother log, I'd say, you'd call it, out of the same batch. It produced nothing. It it rotted indefinitely. So I must have got a higher ratio of spawn in this one. That's why it survived. And then I have uh, a couple more starting over here. 
These are both new ones. So I'm really happy that these are doing well. They will be going to the gourmet restaurants and hopefully uh, the new organic grocery opening it up. All very nice. Alright, well this will do it for this episode of Upgrade Complete. I'll see you next time on Mushroom Adventures.